Hello friends, this video on NEET Ecology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 31. Which of the following is expected to have the highest value in terms of gram per meter square per year in a grassland ecosystem? Secondary production, tertiary production, gross production or net production? Now when we talk about production, we are basically talking about productivity or production ecology. So they are the same terms. They mean the same thing basically. Now how do we measure productivity? So productivity measures the rate of production of organic matter in different components of ecosystem. Now there are two types of productivity. One is primary productivity and the other one is secondary productivity. Now what's primary productivity? So primary productivity is the total energy accumulation by the green plants as biomass or as organic matter and this total production is measured in terms of per unit area per unit time. That means uh, how much biomass is accumulated by the producer level per unit area per unit time. So that is going to be your primary productivity. Right now, when we talk about primary productivity, we again talk about two types of primary productivity. One is gross primary productivity. The other one is net primary productivity. So what is gross primary productivity? It is the total organic matter which is synthesized by the producers during photosynthesis per unit time per unit area. So that is gross. Gross always means total. So the total uh, biomass synthesized by producers. Now when we talk about net productivity, what is that? It is the total organic matter that is stored by the producers after all expenses. So it is something like this. Let's say that uh, your salary per month is rupees 5000. So 5000 is the total money that you get at the end of a month. So that is your gross productivity, the total money that you get. Now, if I ask about the net productivity, that would mean the money that you save in that entire month after all your expenses. Like you received 5000 rupees as salary, you spent 1000 in transportation, you spent 500 in your food, you spent 1000 to give rent. So in that way, you spent, let's say around 4000 rupees. So how much is left with you? 1000 rupees. So 1000 is your net productivity. So gross is like the total biomass that is synthesized by the producers. Net is the total biomass that is stored by the producers after all expenses. Now what kind of expenses the producers incur? Expenses like respiration etc. So with that uh, with this concept in mind we can say that the gross primary productivity will always be greater than the net primary productivity. In fact the relationship would be something like this. Gross primary productivity is equal to net primary productivity plus R where R represents the expenses on other activities like respiration. Yeah, So that's the relationship between gross productivity and net productivity. Now when it comes to secondary productivity, what is it? So secondary productivity is the rate of resynthesis of organic matter by the consumers because primary productivity is all about producers. But when we talk about secondary productivity, it is all about the consumers. So how, what is the rate of resynthesis of the organic matter by consumers? So here, what we observe is the net productivity value gradually decreases with each trophic level. As we go to higher trophic levels, the net productivity decreases. Why? Because the value of R, that is this respiration loss, this gradually increases with each trophic level. So when this increases, what is going to happen? This net primary productivity will decrease because net primary productivity is equal to gross primary productivity minus R. So if the value of R is increasing, what is happening? The value of net primary productivity is decreasing. So we observe that uh, the rate of the net productivity for autotrophs, if it is 20%, then in the, the respiration loss, basically, if this is 20% for autotrophs, it becomes 30% for herbivores, it becomes 60% for carnivores and so on. So as the trophic level increases, the value of R also increases, therefore net primary productivity decreases. So this was a quick recap of uh, primary and secondary productivity. Now let's come back to the question. So which of these will have a higher value? Secondary production, tertiary production, 
gross production or net production so secondary production is definitely not the correct one because as i said just now if you compare primary productivity and secondary productivity so as we go higher up the trophic levels the productivity is reducing so secondary productivity and tertiary production will always be less than primary production so one a and b they are definitely not the correct option now we have gross production and net production so both of these are types of primary production and just now we saw that gross production is always more than net production so the correct option is c question number 32 an ecosystem which can be easily damaged but can recover after some time if damaging effect stops will be having low stability and high resilience, high stability and low resilience, low stability, low resilience or high stability, high resilience. Now, an ecosystem which is capable of getting easily damaged, that means it is, uh, it can be easily attacked right so what does that mean does that mean it is very stable not really because something which is more stable will have more power to remain as it is against adverse conditions like even if some uh, unfavorable conditions come that ecosystem should be able to remain as it is right but in this case since this ecosystem can be easily damaged this shows that this ecosystem is less stable but it says that it can recover after some time. The moment that effect stops, it can quickly recover. So what does that mean? That means it has the ability to regain to its original position after being deformed. Like it can come back to its original form very quickly. So that means it has quite high resilience because what is the term? What does the term resilience mean? So resilience means the ability to come back to the original position after being deformed. So let's say you were at your original position, you were changed to some other position and then once that force is gone you can come back to your own position so that's resilience so in this case this ecosystem has low stability but high resilience question number 33 bamboo plant is growing in a far forest then what will be the trophic level of it t1 t2 t3 or t4 Okay, so what in under what category bamboo plants would fall? Now, as we know, green plants are all producers. So the bamboo plants in this case, they are also producers. That is autotrophs. They prepare their own food. So where do the producers lie in the trophic level? So the producers always occupy the first trophic level, right? So in this case, the correct option would be T1 because you always have producers. Then on top of producers, you have the primary consumers. On top of primary consumers, you have the secondary consumers. On top of that, you have the tertiary consumers and so on. Uh, and if you talk about uh, in terms of the trophic level, this is T1, this is second trophic level, this is third trophic level, this is fourth trophic level and so on. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.